Last idea in this unit on phonological and phonemic awareness. Now, this is uh, involving an idea involving phoneme discrimination and minimal pairs. And uh, I, should, I should clarify uh, what that is. The, the first word is uh, minimal pair. So a minimal pair are words that differ by one phoneme. So they sound very similar, but they just differ by one sound, like fin and thin. There are two sounds that are the same. The in sound is the same, and the, the initial sound is different, right? So fin and thin, there's a rhyme, they rhyme, but the, the uh, first sound is different or fought and thought. While well, they rhyme, they definitely rhyme, but the initial sound is different. They have some sounds, the end sounds, fought, are the same, but the initial sound is different. Or for and Thor, I like that one. For, Thor. Now, why are minimal pairs so helpful? Because minimal pairs for, for a student that's really beginning, okay? So we're talking about early phonological awareness. Okay, it's going to help them distinguish, uh, tell if a word is the same or different. Phoneme discrimination is the ability to hear if sounds are the same or different. And so this is going to really help out with, um, um, like, for example, this, this type of concept comes up a lot on an ELL exam, like ES, ESL or SEI or some type of ELL program, where the student is acquiring uh, English as a second language. And they really need to work on hearing some of those phonemes in the English language and hearing when the sounds are different or the same. So this is a term that would appear on those exams there. And it may appear on your exam, um, but it has to do with the ability to hear uh, when words are similar and different. And we, we test phoneme discrimination using minimal pairs because we want to we want to see if the student is able to catch that for and Thor, while they sound similar, are different, right? For Thor, uh, you would say, uh, yeah, they're different. They have a similar, they have a similar rhyme, but their first sound is different. Now let's take this idea and let's just throw it into this very basic question uh, involving minimal pairs. Take a moment now, one minute, and uh, read it to yourself. Go. And go. This is just throwing in this vocab. You never know when you're going to need it. This is from the reading uh, one, 190 test. Uh, which of the following sentences contains a pair of italicized words that differ from one uh, from each other by one phony? Okay, so let's look at the words that we're trying to find the minimal pair with. We have bashed and basked. We have distracted and retracted. Uh, we have C and C. We have uh, nap and cap. Now we're looking for the word that differs by one sound. So you may be tempted to go to with these others here um, because they're harder. And so they're asking you a question. It's got to be a tough word, right? Um, distracted, retracted. Well, there's some differences in the beginning, the dis and the re. And while you may not realize it, not only is that those prefixes different, right? Um, dis has three sounds, d, i, s. Those are three sounds that differ from retracted, right? Do you see that? So this is this is off by three sounds. Can't use that, right? Um, okay, how about this one right here? C and C, they're, they're called homophones, meaning they're words that sound the same, but have a different meaning, right? And, 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 homo and yes, and, and, the, and they have a different spelling. Okay, so these are out. They sound the same, uh, but they're actually spelled differently. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna not even worry about that one. So what is it? Is it A or is it D? Well, let's look at A. Is it a little easier one, right? Cap has three sounds. C App. Nap has three sounds. N -app. How many do they differ by? Well, they have the rhyme that's the same, the app, and they differ by that initial phoneme. So again, pin, bin, everything's the same except that initial phoneme. So these are the types of words, basic words, pin, bin, nap, cap, 
that could be used to test if a student is able to discriminate in the, in the sounds in the word. And I think that these are pretty good words to test phoneme discrimination uh, because it's not like they're having to get too complicated. I think some of these words might be a little harder, but nap and cap would test if they can tell uh, if they have phoneme discrimination or at least can tell if the words are the same or different. All right, team, the answer here is A. This is uh, from this test here, a great one to do. And although it doesn't actually say it in the question, I just wanted to do this one so I could highlight these two vocab words, minimal pairs and phoneme discrimination. So take a look at them, study them, incorporate them in the mix. I'm sure it's gonna help you, okay?